All right, boys, back in the video, and today we're talking about why the Houston Rockets getting the number one pick is the most important thing for them moving forward and what this sort of means for them in the future. So, what's up? My name is JC. If you guys like the video, drop it down below, press the subscribe button, and let's get into the video. So, I decided to do a video on the Houston Rockets getting the number one pick because obviously the drop lottery is in a few days as the, the time of recording this. It's Saturday, uh, June 19th, so it's going to be in around three days. So, from now until three days on, we will know until uh i think it was tuesday i think so yeah we won't know if we get the first pick or that pick in general until tuesday so i'm uh, just gonna make a ton of hypotheticals a ton of you know videos about this draft lottery and this pick because honestly it, it's really important for a future that we really get this pick so uh, we're talking about this number one pick if we get the number one pick because this can honestly boost our chances for making a playoff push in the next two to three years. Now, I know that's a bit of a stretch, but honestly, with the right moves in the offseason and, you know, getting the right player in this draft, it could be really important for us to make a playoff push in the next two to three years with the pieces we have this offseason. So, uh, let's first start off with who we're obviously picking. I mean, I think it's a no-brainer when I say that we're picking Cade Cunningham with the first overall pick. But assuming that we don't get the first overall pick and we get maybe the second, third, or fourth because our pick is top four protected. Uh, we At number two, I'm taking Jalen Green over Evan Mobley. I mean, some people might disagree and say Evan Mobley over Jalen Green. But uh, honestly, Jalen Green and Kevin Porter Jr., that's a really good duo right there. I think I'd rather have Jalen Green over Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley, he's what, 7 foot and 215 pounds, so really underweight. Same thing with Christian Wood, 6'10", 214 pounds, so I, I just don't, I'm not too sold on Evan Mobley. I'm more sold on Jalen Green than I am Evan Mobley, so uh, it, it would just go Cade Cunningham for the first pick, Jalen Green second, Evan Mobley third, and then honestly fourth, Jalen Suggs, because obviously he's the fourth best player in this draft. Now, in terms of trading this pick, for basically other superstars i mean we could honestly package we could package the, the second or third pick and maybe like our f a few first like this draft for maybe i'm not too sure i mean like luca would be really interesting i mean he's obviously frustrated with the dallas mavericks right now so we could honestly build a trade package around maybe the, f the second or third pick maybe some few first round picks in the future maybe some you know role players off the bench i don't know maybe like eric gordon john wall and the, a couple of first round picks, especially that top for protected pick for Luca. If we get the number one pick, though, I mean, we're talking business. I mean, if we can get Luca Doncic for Kid Cunningham, I mean, like, some people might disagree, but honestly, I would trade Kid Cunningham for Luca Doncic. I mean, 22 years old doing what he's doing right now. I mean, honestly, over the season, Luca Doncic is averaging really good stats for his career, only for someone that's 22 years old, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, over the season, he's been averaging basically. 27.7 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists, which is really good, man. He's really, I'm someone, I'm someone that's really sold on Luka Doncic. I mean, he's absolutely amazing. Reminds me of a right-handed James Harden, but, you know, obviously playing a forward position. And obviously James Harden playing the guard position. So, uh, I really see some James Harden in this guy. He does a lot of step-back threes. He has a really good driving game. He can really handle the ball, too. I mean, he's really patient around the rim, too. It's That's what I like about his game. So, uh, he can shoot the ball. His only downside is obviously his free throw shooting. But that's something he can fix. He's only 22 years old, so it makes sense. So, honestly, we could package Cade Cunningham for a package surrounding a young superstar. Maybe Zion. I know people wouldn't want, like Zion in Houston. But, you know, if you could get him, it would be really nice. So, uh, just that's that's that for basically trade packages and stuff for this top four protected pick. Now, in terms of the future and what it means for the Houston Rocks, I mean, if we get Cade Cunningham or Jalen Green or Evan Mobley, one of those three, those are really going to boost our chances for making the playoffs within the next five years. I mean, honestly, like getting any one of those players alongside KPJ, J. Sean Tate, KJ Martin, Christian Wood, I mean, that's an absolutely great starting five right there. Really young starting five. You know, the oldest one being. Christian Wood being 26 and Jishon Tate being 26, but for the most part, it's a pretty young core right there. And then off the bench, I mean, we get, I'm assuming we keep our first round picks this year too. And uh, with the 23rd and 24th pick, uh, guaranteed by the way. So uh, we could get a really solid, really young center. I mean, Daron Sharp. I know that's the name going around the Houston Rocks community a lot. So Daron Sharp, I like his game too. I've seen some clips, some mixtapes from him. Really good center, really solid piece for them off the bench. But that would probably mean we'd probably release DJ Wilson or let him walk in for agency because uh, he's a restricted free agency or free agent. And uh, Cam Oliver was on a 10-day contract, I want to say. So, uh, yeah, if we get Daron Sharp off the bench, I mean, we're probably going to let go Cam Oliver and DJ Wilson at the same time. So, 
and like in terms of like what we need off the bench, I mean, yeah, we need a center, really solid center off the bench, but uh, we also need a really solid point guard because as good as DJ Augustine was this season, I mean, he's not, he's 33, first of all, which doesn't fit within our time frame. I mean, even though DJ Augustine was pretty good for us, if I just pull up his stats really quick, he's been absolutely really good for us. So if we go over here, uh, over the season for the Houston Rockets, he's been averaging 10.6 points basically let's see 3.9 assists and for the rebounding <laughs> oh i'm sorry guys i, I should have pulled this up earlier but his rebounding is actually like it's obviously not that good because honestly he's, he's what like 6362 so he's pretty short but uh, his shooting splits are pretty good too i mean from the three-point line he's shooting 39 percent from three and from the field he's shooting 40 Two percent from the field which is pretty good so uh, i wouldn't be too inclined to bring back dj oxy you know give that veteran experience but i don't know he's getting to the point where he's starting to get really old he might decline soon which he already is declining but i don't know i just i, I think we should move dj augustine he has two years left on his deal i think he has a player option at the end too which kind of sucks but i don't know i wouldn't be too inclined to bring back dj augustine now in terms of if we don't bring him back i mean we could get a point guard off the bench you know i haven't done my scouting for this year's draft class, I mean, as much as I wanted to, man, I just, I just can't do my scouting, man. So, honestly, we, we just need a really solid young point guard that can hold down the offense for us. And, honestly, that can run in the place and basically can shoot because we're a really three-point heavy shooting team. And also, we need someone that can play some defense. So, a really good 3 and D type of player, kind of like a Kyrie Thomas type of player. So, uh, that's my take on what this number one pick can get us and what the future holds for this number one pick. So, uh, that's the end of the video. If you get the video, drop in the below, press the subscribe button, and I'm out. Peace.